Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to the Daisy podcast. I'm Luisa, your host, and in t- today's episode we're gonna talk about uh, my July review slash August reset. It's something I really like to do on my journal and if you follow me on my Instagram you know I'm big on journaling. I think it's the one habit I've stick through these past few years and the one that's been really the most helpful to me to stay focused on my goals and to not lose track of everything. This and my agenda and my uh, you know planner also but we can talk we can do a video on journaling and planning later today it's more of a july um, review august reset because i know i've been a little mia lately and it's because july it's been a really really intense month a lot of things happened and this whole summer feels really rushed because I'm leaving um, for university in August and we're gonna get into that in the life update but the first thing I think you are noticing is that I got a nail cut yes I decided to cut it to cut it really short and I gotta say I like it I don't know how I feel about this much short but I think um, it started to grow on me but yeah, and uh, I just got out of the shower so they're not really um, dry my hair but you know here in Italy we're having um, 30-35 degrees so it's really hot and really humid also I can't, I can't do anything, I stay uh, still and I still sweat so it's hot yeah so that's the first light update then uh, uh, the other life update is that i'm going to uni you know where i already done a video in maastricht but now i have a set day for when i'm leaving i booked the ticket and it's the 19th of august so i can be there for income week which starts on the 22nd and there um, goes on until the 26th and then i have my introduction days for my faculty on the 3rd and 31st, 30th and 31st and then uh, class started on the 5th of September which is like really soon I'm living like three weeks and it's starting to get real and I haven't started packing yet and but I'm I'm preparing you know I'm I'm setting up setting up a lot of things here in Italy so I don't have to there in the Netherlands. For example, I got my two last with wisdom teeth out and the last one was the most painful one. I don't think I've ever been in that much physical pain in a long time and I'm still recovering it. I have stitches and I need to get it uh, off the day after tomorrow. Then I also have to go to my municipality and get my birth certificate so I can then register once I get in the Netherlands. I have to go to the doctor so he can give me my, uh, prescribe me my uh, medications because I, I am allergic to a lot of things. So yeah, a lot of appointments, a lot of things. I went to a wedding also. A lot of, it's, a lot of things are happening and uh, I'm also trying to enjoy summer but I'm really tired all the time because it's hot and because I'm doing a lot of things so yeah in July obviously I, in the first two weeks were really hectic because I went to uh, the Netherlands from the 4th to the 8th and I went to Maastricht um, and then we also went to Amsterdam with my family since we were there obviously <laughs> And then I went to Greece, Corfu, with my friends from the 11th to the uh, 17th, yes, until the 17th. And that's a whole other story because our flight got delayed one day later and then we lost the night uh, and then a lot of things happened on that trip and uh, I'm probably gonna do a diary entry um, for that vlog and it's coming I swear it's coming I I don't have time to uh, edit all the video ideas but they are coming 
and also for the Maastricht uh, and Amsterdam vlog it's coming and uh, I'm thinking about uh, starting you know a new series because I just finished my Italy Diaries series where um, I vlogged my life as a high school student here in Italy and I published the last vlog here it's my Maturita vlog my last high school exam vlog and uh, and I'm thinking I don't know, I want to start a uni diaries series, but I don't know how to call it, I was thinking Maastricht Diaries, because um, it's con connected to the location, because uni diaries is too general, I want like more something specific, and I don't know, if you have any suggestions, let me know, and I was thinking that the, the vlog from Maastricht can be the, the start, the start of the series, and then uh, once I move in, then all, all the vlogs from uni <laughs> are gonna complete the series. And yeah, so this this has been my, my life update, that's what I've been up to, I've completed my first month at my job, which um, we're gonna get into in the monthly reflections and reset, and also wanted to take the time here in, the, in this episode, and you can do it with me too, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, or if you're listening on Spotify, I'm gonna put the um, questions for the monthly uh, monthly reflections and goal setting uh, here on the skin so you can follow up with me and I really encourage you to do because introspection is the way to move forward so yeah without further ado let's start this um, monthly reflection I have my journal here and I'm gonna read out the questions and then uh, uh, share with you my thoughts so the first uh, uh, question I ask myself is what were you most proud of this month and um, one thing I really liked about uh, how I got to improve myself this month is that thanks to my job, I'm working at a tourist information point on my hometown, I, I get to talk to, to a lot of strangers and uh, I'm really proud of myself for how far I come. I'm a, an introvert kind of, kind of girl uh, and I'm becoming more extroverted by the day, which is you know, in a word <laughs> made for extroverts is the the best uh, that I could do for myself. And then I'm proud that I actually completed uh, a month at my job. Uh, I never thought I'd find a, a part-time job this summer because it's the most rushed summer ever. But I and I really I really like it. Then uh, the other question is, what were the biggest challenges to navigate this month? So, as I mentioned, I did a lot of trips and with that came, you know, uh, dealing and uh, uh, living with other people. So, you know, my family, you know, I live with my family, I know what it is, but, you know, when traveling, conflicts are amplified. So, like, navigating, I also deal uh, with conflicts with my family. And also on that trip, I was in charge of going away knowing where to go and understanding where to go so these were some of the challenges that i'm really proud of also that i overcame and also with my friends you know when you, you are not used to live with your friends so in that trip you know we all saw a different side of each other's and i think it it's really helpful you know for for growing deeper into into forming relationships with people in general to you know have these kind of travel conflicts and stuff like that so these uh, these were a bit challenging but you know i'm back we're uh, all uh, okay on the same page and then uh, i also uh, wrote that um, the biggest challenge was getting my wis last wisdom teeth out i swear it was so painful because on the same day before getting my surgery i went to the sea because uh, i live 20 minutes from the sea and uh, i actually was staying at um, uh, uh, friends of mine house so yeah and uh, we went swimming at 8 p.m and i got uh, bitten i don't know it was a weird fish i don't know i don't even know if it's a fish but um yeah and that burnt for the whole day while i also was dealing with the pain of my wisdom teeth so that that was a really big challenge for this month and then we have what did you accomplish this month um, I, I got my first paid month, uh, I'm potentially closing something really exciting that I don't want to spoil here until it, happen, until it happens, I don't want to jinx it. And then one of my TikToks went 
semi-viral, got 50,000 uh, views. Then I, I got to 100 uh, with merit in my last high school exam, which means I'm going to get a small scholarship from the Italian government, which is no, good for me. And then uh, I wrote down, what did you struggle with this month? I said I struggled with consistency because I wanted to make more consi consistent content here on YouTube and TikTok. But you know, when life gets this hectic, sometimes I'm, I'm just like, I need to live life first and then I can edit vlogs and then I can make content and stuff like that. So I've been slacking a bit, but I want to get back into it. And um, yeah, and also a little bit with my health, because with my like workouts and stuff, because with my last uh, uh, exam, I let myself, you know, go. I didn't work out. Uh, I wasn't cleaning, and I wasn't eating healthily. So August, I want to get back into go going for walks more times a day daily. I don't think I can work out with uh, this weather, but at least going out for walks, uh, getting in uh, 10,000 steps and eating more more healthily. Then I wrote out, what are you grateful for this month? I'm extremely grateful for all the opportunities I got to receive. Maastricht, Amsterdam, Kung Fu, and it seemed like um, my dream life, literally, what I was dreaming about when I was 14. And then I'm grateful for my mom, which cooks even though she's tired and it's hot. And I'm grateful uh, to gotten closer with my cousin. We get a deep talk and all of that, and I'm really grateful for that. So this is what my monthly uh, reflections, and now I I want to, to do a August goal setting. And for that, uh, I try to go back to my early goals and see a, a point at which point I was and I gotta say that I did accomplish a lot of what I wrote down but still there are still things I, can, I could work on so I wrote down that uh, I want to do to I want to do 10,000 to 15,000 steps every day then publish three videos a week which is a really ambitious goal but you know why not to think big, go big, <laughs> or go home. <laughs> and then I wanna have less screen time and more cooking. And for that I found an app which is called One Sack that um, creates a shortcut uh, to, uh, and you connect it to social media. You can connect it for free for, to one social, social media. And I connect it to TikTok, but I think I'm gonna switch to Instagram because I, I like TikTok and I hate Instagram and I've explained that I think in another video. Uh, and then it allows you to uh, take a deep breath before I open it. And then it asks you if you're really sure if you want to open it. And then you can click yes or no. And I think it's it's been really, really helpful. I just installed it yesterday. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be really helpful. Um, and then I want to say start getting ready to leave so pack and but still enjoy summer and then post tiktoks daily more times a day and uh, i think i'm doing great so far and then i want to finish reading my tbr list because i'm not gonna bring any books to um you know to the netherlands but uh, but i want to finish them because i'm i don't i don't know where I'll, I'll come back in the on christmas i think and you know, I, I think I have like four books that I bought and uh, a physical version, so I want to get those, uh, I want to read those and then I'm gonna switch up probably on digital because I'm gonna bring my iPad uh, to the Netherlands and then I'm gonna read books there even though I really prefer paper but yeah, this is, was my, you know, uh, July review August uh, reset. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and uh, I really like doing the This Is Podcast episodes. Uh, let me know if you're listening uh, on Spotify. Yeah, post a screen on your story and tag me so I can see it or let me know if you're watching it on YouTube. This is it for today's episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! First of all I miss you Secondly, 
I never wanna see your 